Hello everyone, my name is Vince Galman and I just want to offer a quick message to say, please trust the collective madness in our world right now and to trust it as a necessary purging, to trust it as a necessary purging. This is a purging that must take place and what I mean by that is that there's a there's a process that the collective is going through where the unconscious is becoming conscious. The unconscious is becoming conscious. And this is, this is necessary. And this is, <laughs> there is going to be no rebirth, no transformation in, in, in consciousness without the unconscious rising to the surface, without darkness rising up into the light. So there's a purging taking place, and as the purging takes place, as, as the unconscious becomes more conscious, people are acting out what has been repressed. People are acting out in all sorts of shaming and blaming and getting offended and, you know, trans activism and climate activism and they, them activism. You know, it it's all coming out people being angry, um, rageful, it's coming out, it's coming out, it's coming out. It was already there. It was already there, but part of the mandate for these times is that all that is held in the unconscious, or I won't say all, because I'm always careful about, I'm careful about black and white language, but a lot of what's been held in the unconscious, what's been held in the shadow must come up now. It can't hide anymore. We as a people cannot hide anymore in status quo, normal, quote unquote, normal, quote unquote, dem democratic living. There's no more hiding. When light comes in, and that's what's happening in the world right now, all this light is coming, all these, these, these global or these cosmic rays are coming in. As it comes in, as light comes in, there's a great revealing of the shadows. And, and so the shadows surface in individual and collective consciousness. They're uncovered, they're revealed, and that's what apocalypse means in Greek. Apocalypsis means reveal. So there's a great revealing taking place. It's a great purging. And so I would, I, what I'm saying to you all is to have faith in this process that that it is very normal, it is very expected that there is messiness as as the shadows come to the surface. And I also want to say to you, as all oh, these beautiful geese, I love geese, fly over me, is that what's also normal is that when it surfaces, as the unconscious becomes conscious, at first people are not ready to take responsibility for it. They're going to act it out. They're going to act it out by getting very offended, by blaming other people, by getting angry, bickering. And that's what we're seeing at, at a new level as compared to five years ago. It's just so much victimhood, so much, you know, cancel culture and et cetera, et cetera. It's, it's at a new level right now because we are at this apocalyptic revealing time. And yeah, people initially are not ready to take responsibility for what is surfacing and what must surface they disown it and that's what projection means they project it onto other people and they expect them to own something that is actually their own responsibility they can't own it so they disown it they project it by blaming and shaming etc etc this is all very normal so there's an acting out let's remember that this is generally an infantile consciousness that we have on this planet we're speaking of people with a lot of pain who have done little to no inner work with low self-awareness and people who have derived their identity and their idea of reality by watching comedies and sports and mainstream media and <clears throat> and by watching movies they there's a real distorted perception of self in the world as an infantile consciousness and so with that low consciousness, people are not in a way prepared 
mature enough to take responsibility in a healthy way for what's surfacing in them. They haven't been initiated. We're talking about a, a culture that has not initiated its people like traditional societies have. We don't have the mystery schools of old, like the mystery schools of Greece and Egypt, etc. So we're speaking about a very young people. We're speaking of men, boys, and women, girls. And why I say it that way is because when you are initiated, often at the age of 13, you are initiated as a way to transition you from being a boy to a man, from a girl to a woman. It is a rite of passage into maturity, and we have an immature culture. So for the most part, the our adult world, our, 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 it's a very young, girlish, boyish people. And in many ways are just not prepared <laughs> to, to have mature relationships, to parent, um, to lead organizations. And that's why there's so much dysfunction in the world. There's so much dysfunction at home. There's so much dysfunction in general. And that's why it needs to collapse because this is a society. This is an internal psychic structure to quote Jesus that is built on, on sand rather than rock. So, so it is a young consciousness and it is a consciousness that is not prepared in many ways to take responsibility for what is surfacing for the, for, for the unconscious rising into conscious light. So have faith in this first stage, um, which is an excessive acting out and excessive victimhood. This is normal. This is necessary. This is to be expected. And then what's going to happen is that increasingly people are going to be um, able in different ways for different reasons, um, guided in different ways to take a heightened level, uh, to, to be able to take greater responsibility for what is surfacing in them, to be, become more conscious of it, to own it, and to transform it. Uh, let's remember that they are not alone. Um, though they may be acting out quite insanely at times, they do have a heart, they do have a soul, they do have a higher self that's guiding them, they do have spirit guides, they do have the love of God, they, they are guided, but they also must go through their alchemical rite of passage, they must go through this process of, of difficulty, and that where not everything is given to them, they must learn to take responsibility for what is surfacing themselves. And yes, they, they will be supported along the way to the degree that they're ready and open. And the, to the degree that they have gotten the learning that they need to get through this difficult rite of passage. So this is all um, to be expected, everyone. And I invite you all to, to have faith in it. It's very easy to judge everything that's going on. It's easy to judge the gaslighting that is going on, but even the gaslighting is, is useful because in being gaslit, while the gaslighter has responsibility in the gaslighting, in being gaslit, I, something is surfacing that we can look at. There's so much um, talk about gaslighting as being bad, 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 and all this gaslighting and the gaslighting shouldn't happen and yada, 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 but heck, I mean, what if by being gaslit, you have the opportunity to look at yourself because there's a reaction, something historic is surfacing and you can take responsibility for it. So the amount of gaslighting that is happening in the world, the gaslighting that is coming from the dark forces is not necessarily a bad thing. It's, it's contributing to bring out what needs to be looked at. It's contributing to making the unconscious conscious. So if we just say gaslighting is bad and all these gaslighters, they're whatever, that's victimhood. And again, the gaslighters do need to take responsibility, but let's get out of victimhood period and, and look at gaslighting as actually an opportunity. Look at it as an opportunity for empowerment, for transformation. So 
overall, everyone, I invite you to have faith in this unfolding, have faith in this perfect storm. It is happening as it should be, and it is happening in right timing. There is a divine plan, and yes, there are reasons to be afraid as the WHO is moving closer to overriding national sovereignty in terms of pandemic response. As we're moving closer to a central bank digital currency, those two things are key pieces of the dark forces strategy. It is normal to be afraid. But we are not, as I've said many times before, going to move to a full-on totalitarian takeover. There is a divine plan in play. There's lots of pieces in place to ensure that the fulfillment of the golden age comes but we have to have faith that there must be unnecessary um there must be enough unconsciousness coming out before there is the tipping point there must be a boiling point reached there must be enough steam coming out of that soup there must be enough rising up there must be a place of ripeness for us to reach the, this uh, this next level phase for um, global alchemy, for global awakening, and for the ultimate disempowerment and dissolution of the darkness that has been ruling this planet for a long time. So trust that there is a higher plan. Trust that we are unfolding just as necessary, right on time, and yeah, it's messy, yeah, the world deserves our love and compassion. Um, and yeah, um, yeah, have faith, everyone. Have faith, my friends. And, and I invite you all to, to stay out of judgment as much as possible. Stay out of judgment as our brothers and sisters struggle through their unconscious rising and their inability to respond consciously and and uh, sophisticatedly, is that a word? To what is surfacing within them. Have faith, have compassion as they struggle through the shadows that are becoming more conscious in their, in their awareness. Um, and let's all love each other through this. Let's all love each other through this and we will get through this together as one. So thank ev thanks everyone. That's what I wanted to say to you. I, I do have upcoming online healing and activation ceremonies. I'll put a link in the description. Uh, as always, please like, share, comment, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. And I will see you when I see you. Take good care. Bye.